is another way where they conquer and divide us. This is where they come. Listen, sister. Listen, sister. I want a good education, but I'm not a good school. But the only thing, the, listen, sister. not coming in in public schools, okay? We pay for the school, the tax pay for the school, not China school. China school get funded by Wall Street. Get your own school. I'm from the grassroots education movement. That's our message to SUNY, authori Charter Authorizing Agency, to the DOE. It's our message to our parents at HSA. It's our message to uh, PS30 and all the schools in New York City. These are our public schools. This thing, I mean, it's a shame that people like Eva Moskowitz are coming in to divide our black and Latino community. We should be fighting together to make all public schools good schools. The schools, all schools should have smart boards just like HSA. All schools should have all schools should have air conditioning. Look, the thing is, these charter schools are not being put in District 2. The east side are white middle class communities. The west side, white communities. They would not allow it because they do not allow the public to have that voice. They take away the parent voice. They take away the teacher voice. I'm proud to say I'm a trauma teacher here at PS30. Been a teacher in Harlem for seven years. I think about my own parents. My own parents would have done anything, and they did, to try to make sure that I got an excellent education. It seems to me, so I understand, I don't begrudge anybody what they're trying to do to get their kids a great education, but I hear some things coming out of in charter schools that I just don't understand. They say, and I see some signs saying, well, equal funding, we're not getting enough funding. Uh, let me tell you, PS30 could never produce a fold-out, glossy brochure like this, let alone make five parents in Harlem get five copies of each. I don't know where y'all got the money for this, but we do not have the budget for that. Right here, I'm being filmed by a documentary film crew. Where did the money for that come from? In my... Look. It seems to me... I can't tell you, I really can't even count the number of times that maybe in November, maybe in December, maybe a couple weeks right before test, testing time, that a new student will arrive at my door. A new student who maybe got pushed out, bumped out, encouraged to leave the charter school. PS30 opens its doors to every child. We're the number one rated school in, in District 5, and you don't have to win a lottery to go to PS30. You have a right to put your child in the school. You have a right to be here. And I really understand why people are going to church, because I understand that. But I'm just saying, you are seeing ultimately what we're giving up. If we go more and more towards charter, we're giving up the right to education and we're handing it over to these private companies. I think there's some things that we need to keep in mind. Right now they're saying that charter schools, any charter school is automatically better than a public school. But you know what, and I heard Eva Moskowitz downtown, I went to a thing, she was bragging about your test scores and how your test scores were so high. That's great, I'm proud. Congratulations. However, however, the New York City Department of Education's accountability report showed that your kids who scored so high scored just as high last year. And the New York City public school students moved more. So that has confirmed what we always suspected, that you guys are taking high scores and pushing... ...to Long Island and see what those schools look like. We are here fighting for little crumbs. 
We're fighting for this little nothing budget. And we're breaking and destroying excellent schools like PS30 to try to invade them. Imagine your kids being a PS30 and another school comes in, changes the whole system, paints the walls differently, changes the bathrooms, and your kid is unable to go past those schools, those bathrooms, past those hallways. Again, the whole separate and unequal deal. Are we back in the 40s, 30s, 40s, and 50s? Is this what we want for our children? Now, I respect your desire to have a better education for your child. I can, this is what we're fighting for, right? But we want free quality public education. Free quality public education. And the politicians, corporate America, and that's the same in this city with Bloomberg, they don't want that. Look, 20 something years ago, we fought to keep CUNY City College open for our people. Right? We out there, we went, we went hard, and we fought for that. They keep raising tuition, cutting budgets, the same thing they're doing over here. Come on, when the experts are saying no more than 15 students per classroom, and we're increasing those numbers, taking away the power from the people. Yes, I understand. I understand you supporting this. I understand also that you got pizza and you were bust over here. Right? I understand that you do get all these things, but where they come from?